equality. That's pretty much the first thing that, that comes to mind, right? Black people need to be seen as equals in this world. You know, we had to fight just to be recognized as a full citizen in this country and not um, three-fifths. The world is now seeing what we've known for so long in the culture and in the community. Um, the one way that we can fight is obviously voting. Talk to me about what voting means to you. I hear people all the time talking about one vote doesn't matter and that voting doesn't make a difference. If that's true, why do they work so hard to suppress the black vote? because they understand the power of the vote. And so it's time that black people collectively also understand the power of their vote. And not just on a national level, because a lot of times we only have this conversation every four years. People need to be very much involved in their local politics. They need to understand who their elected officials are, where they stand on issues that affect you. And you need to use your vote to either support the ones that um, care about you and your condition or to elect people who do. A newer initiative that we're dealing with is um, educating I, felons, Amy. right? So in the state of Amy. Texas, um, if you're a felon, Amy, if I see, prison, if I, you're no longer on probation, if I know that you're watching you this, you have the right to register to vote. Um, another thing, if I know you're watching this, um, initiative called you know, Orange, I'll which is know. happening not just in Houston, but all over the country. If you're in jail, I know, I think that's you, um, yeah, that think that's you. Trial, but you have not been um, convicted, like you, you, you're still in jail waiting to, to for your day in court, you are still eligible to vote. And you said something so key. They work <laughs> so hard to hope that we stay uninformed, but more importantly, to suppress the black vote. If you could do one thing with this message that we're trying to send today about how important voting is, what type of images would you like our people to understand and see when they go to these polls and vote or when they cast their ballots? I think the images that we've all seen, you know what I'm saying, for decades in this country, if not centuries in this country, we've seen black people oppressed, we've seen black people attacked. So every time you look back and you see those old black and white images of people of color being attacked by dogs and people of mm -hmm. color being sprayed with hoses, that's what they were fighting for. Back then they were just fighting for a chance to vote. People like Martin Luther King Jr., people like Malcolm X, um, these people died to help us um, be in a position to have the power that we have now, which is to be able to cast a vote and make a decision about the people that have controls over our lives. So, I mean, if, if you if you in your own community need a reason mm -hmm. to vote, look at a person like George Floyd. If the people in your city are not open to police reform, are not open to having the conversation about defunding the police, are not open to issues concerning economic equality, judicial equality and racial equality, Right. If they're scared to say black lives matter, you have the power to put people in those positions who do believe that black lives matter, who do believe in racial equality, economic equality, judicial equality. That's right. right? That's right. Who see us as human beings. <laughs> and if the people in your in your community don't feel that way, vote them out. It's that simple. It's just vote them out. We, we don't have enough time to sit around and hope that people change their minds. Yeah. Bumby, you point out something so important. We have the power. And that is in our vote, and that is with our voice, and that's how we use our voice. I, I think of where we are right now, people say this is a particular moment, but it is a movement, not just a moment, it is a movement. Uh, why, in your opinion, was it George Floyd's death? Why was that the chosen um, brutality for people to say, oh my God, black people are still oppressed in this country, and it is not fair? I think it's twofold, Carrie, and so many different encounters. <laughs> With, between people of color and the police, there simply is no proof of what happened in the interaction. Mm. And so what happens is in a court of law, um, it tends to lean towards the policeman's point of view, right? In this case, we saw very clearly what happened. I think the other thing is, is due to the fact that everyone was at home, basically, um, during this time period in relation to the coronavirus, you couldn't avoid it, right? It was on every television station, it was on every social media platform, Everywhere you turn, you were constantly hit upside the head with this message. You see in the interaction that this man did nothing to deserve what, what happened. That's right. And I think uh, so well said, because if you think about it, in the, gra the grand scheme of things, it wasn't worth it. And he didn't have to lose his life. Oh, he, he brought on, he fishy. That a lot of people talk about. Um, <clears throat> that is now defunding the police. That has oh. been such a huge conversation, but there's so many misconceptions around defunding. Are you the with a fishy group? Uh, if you will. Uh, um, yes. Them. All right. So most people, when they hear the term defund the police, they tend to think I'm of, a fishy oh, they're going to take away our police department. Nothing could be further from, from the point. 
defunding the police means that in certain communities, even in Houston, say, for you example, remember we Chico were Yes, 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 yes. Now, what is that money being used for? Some of that money... <laughs> the live event started. Riot sheets, Yes, I know. Right? Pepper spray, right? That kind of thing. No only freaking way. The people that fund this, this budget, right? So why would the people want to supply the police with the means to oppress them. If the police are concerned about the situation in certain communities, um, well, how how did rate, the live how event how crime rates seem to happen in communities where there's not, um, Who are you? There's, there's not uh, employment opportunities, oh. there's not a lot of social services, and people are going to do what they need to do to take care of themselves and their families. When the community has more opportunities for employment, more opportunities for upward mobility, yeah, fishy. On the government, they tend to fishy, have more fishy. Ninja! You are I find? No. They want information and they want action. And so we want to make sure that we give them the right information and lead them in the right direction. And we thank the people that do that. She's on top. With us right now. But it's very important that people, that people who aren't black be involved. Because if black people could have gotten rid of racism, we would have done it hundreds of years ago. And so I'm trying to use my voice and my platform just to let people know that if they feel like I do, there's a number of places they can go to enact change in their community. People need to know about how the city council runs. They need to know that they have the ability to speak when city council meets, to let them know that that's not the way that they feel their city needs to be run. Those are not the places that they feel the money of their community needs to be allocated. And they'll be even a step further, they can run for office in their local community. You want to do a contest who can spin more faster? Somebody else. If you're upset, I, it's not hard to get on the school board. It's not hard to be a part of the city council. It really isn't. And depending on how small your town is, you could be a mayor. It's the power is with the people. And we need to just know that that's happening. Absolutely. And it's always been with the people. You know, if you look at Trayvon Martin's mother, Sabrina Fulton, right? She felt that there was a system of racism and a system of oppression that led to her son's death. And so what did she do? She ran for city council and she was elected city council. Her own former president, 44, Barack Obama, right, started in the community as an activist, ran for an elected position, became senator, ran for another elected position, okay. became president of the United States. So don't think that she's on top. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a lot of money, you don't need a lot of power. Your voice is enough. To I'll be power. with man. Hey man, I feel like I need to go out and run for something. You gave me a rousing speech. Ninja! Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you this. Um, when, I, when I talk to um, my brothers, I have to ask you, as a black man, how are you doing? Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. I have a very strong relationship with God, so prayer definitely works for me. I have children and grandchildren who are watching me, who are encouraged by what I do, and they're proud of me right now, you know? And that's really what matters, you know? The change starts at home, you know? So as long as you have a support system that believes in what you're doing and supports you in what you're doing, you have everything you need to go out there and fight a good fight. But for those that don't, there's a community of people who are going to vote for you. She's on and top, no boy. They're gonna slow my speed down. It has been an education, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Keep fighting. Keep up the good fight. It stopped. Yeah, la la. So our next guest, I have to admit, I'm a fan, uh, but there are so many different Five people events, that we could talk to. Stop it. It's so imperative that we speak with her. You know her as Molly uh, on the huge successful <laughs> show Insecure, HBO's Insecure. She also has a comedy special highlighting her Nigerian roots, and she's an amazing podcaster. Let's welcome in Yvonne Oji, everyone. You have such a beautiful way of making things funny, giving us our <laughs> medicine with some candy, right? The humor yeah. and the healing. You bring all of that. Uh, to it just space. kicks me off right the game. Now, as you look across this country, it kicked you know, out. everyone is so broken, uh -huh. and so upset. If it's not social injustice, it's the pandemic, it's depression. I saw it's someone got kicked out, and that was you. On. How are you doing, quite frankly? 
You know, I am, I'm rediscovering self in a way that I, that is hard, but necessary that will lead to ultimate joy. I know it sounds like, like a lot, but no, I, I think I, I personally put, think that God put all of us on a global timeout. Like we just, you know, America hasn't done as good as other people when it comes to timeouts uh, cause everyone else is out playing at recess. And we look, we're still in the principal's office hoping and wishing we can come out. But I think that if we settle into the timeout and really learn the lesson that we're supposed to learn from this season, I think we'll emerge better. We'll, we'll learn how to play well with others in more ways than one. Uh, mm. And so personally for me, I'm taking this time to, to learn me in a new way. I feel like I'm being ushered into a new season and I'm getting still. Because sometimes the busy uh confounds the the work that we're supposed to actually be doing you know we're busy doing other stuff but we got work that we need to do on the inside and i'm like i'm leaning into it i'm like dang i thought i thought i was gonna be able to rest like everybody else and you guys are like now nah, we got work <laughs> you know what and i think that's what everybody is saying about 20. to quote the great prophet Kendrick Lamar. Uh, but like, no, seriously, sit down and let's reevaluate some things. Let us... Everybody, you know, was watching when George Floyd died and everybody, everyone was watching when Amy Cooper called the cops. Like, this is a, a time where it's like, oh, we can't pretend it away. We can't, no, 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 no. It's a global timeout. Sit down, watch, and let's learn. And globally, oh, it's God. like, hey, we were going business as usual, but it ain't usual no this more. This is too like, boring. That, that, that's old. Anytime change occurs, it's very uncomfortable. And so right now we're sitting with the, un we're, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. The minorities, we've been comfortable with being uncomfortable because that, that to me explains just the existence for whatever we want to do, how we break into our careers, how we live our lives, how we find ourselves one of the few or one of the first. Um, and that's a lonely road. When you look at, and you talk about this global timeout, everybody had to pay attention to Amy Cooper. Everyone had to pay attention to George Floyd. How is that helping us as a people, as a country during our global timeout? I think, well, one, we're not minorities, Carrie. You already know it. It's like th these labels that they put on us. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's like the same way of saying like black on black violence. Also, there's no white on white violence. It's branding. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's all branding. Yeah. You're right. You're it's right. like white people kill white people every single day. So no, there is no black on black violence. And if you say black on black violence, well then let's brand white on white violence. Like I watched <laughs> Investigation <laughs> Discovery. <laughs> Ain't too many of us. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, you know, I just even like, but to answer your question, what does that do? I think what everyone expected is what has happened in the past when the world was still open, right? In that, okay, you had everyone, uh, uh, from Trayvon Martin to Castillo to Sandra Bland, you had all of these, all of these lives <laughs> lost and black people made some noise. You know, we rioted, we, we got out in the streets, we started the Black Lives Matter movement, all of those things. And then after, and then white people kind of just like, oh, let's give them something. Or, and then it's just like, is it over? It's like, it's like, Oscar's so black. Okay, okay, good. We got, we gave some Oscars. Are we good now? Like, are we even? You know, and it's now, it's just like, oh, no, 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 no. This is not about, this is not about like a, a band-aid. It's like, yo, we might have to amputate the leg a little bit, but it's all right. Because we're going to, by amputating the leg, we're going to save the body. And so I think that's what's happening now. Like America is realizing like, oh, black people aren't just making a little bit of noise. Like the protests are still out. The, the conversations are still being had. The change is still being demanded. And I think they're seeing, oh, this is not going no way. And no, it's not because we need systematic change. What a beautiful way to explore what is happening and describe our country. We might have to amputate the leg, but that's to save the body. That's what's happening right now. 
That's beautiful, Yvonne. Um, and to that end, I have to ask you this, because the way that we do that, we use our voice. And our voice right now in this world, in this country, is our vote. Um, and everyone talks about voting and how important it is, but I feel like more than ever, we understand that it's not just about voting every four years for the man in office. It's about your local elections. It's about the mayor. It is about the district attorney, the people who have the power to bring charges against police if police brutality is an issue in your community. If you care about your school district, you can run for the school board. I ask this of you, right? Your parents are from Nigeria. You are Nigerian. You talk about that very lovingly. What does voting mean for you? You know, I think voting is power. I remember, you know, I was I became a naturalized citizen um, back in the 90s um, when, because um, I'm still a minor, my mom naturalized, and so we were able to do it under her. And just even that power of, like, we are American citizens and all the access that we have by being citizens, one of those accesses and those access to power being voting, it's a big deal. It's a big deal because not only are we do we have the opportunity to be in this country, but now we can be of the country. We can be of the system. We can be of the rules. We can be of um, what it actually affords. But I think going back to your earlier comment about uh, just the setup of systems, I think we are done a disservice either at schools or whatever it is. And I'm not putting teachers on blast. I think teachers do a phenomenal job, but for some reason, we do not, and, and, and give them all the raises. I, I know too many parents who are like, I might, this child of mine, I do love them, but hey, who, <laughs> <laughs> where can I drop them off? And I do think that there's a disservice done because, again, when we talk about them, to your point, we talk about every four years. It's important to vote for the presidency. We don't realize, like, oh, snap. We actually can vote about, like, how much our libraries get. It's like small things like that, but they make a big difference. When you think of voter suppression in this country, what does it look like for you? It's the system. When we talk about voter suppression, we also talk about systematic racism, right? It's all the systems that set up. And we've, we've normalized, <laughs> okay, maybe your job will give you a half day, or maybe, you know, you'll be able to get this luxury. It shouldn't be a luxury. It should be built into the system. It should be built into the fabrics of how we vote. But maybe you'll be able to get this luxury in order to enable you to go vote. Think about everything uh, disenfranchised, marginalized, black person has to endure in a day. So in a day, you need to get to work. If something happens to your car, if something happens to your child care, if something happens to, there's so many factors along the way that can send you into a tailspin as an American. And then you add on as a person of color. If you're just trying to get to vote and you already have to go through all of these hurdles and hoops in your everyday life, Imagine the one day when your voice, voice really is supposed to matter the most in this country, but then you also see all the times that you tried to have your voice matter, and then it's been shut down, repressed, told it doesn't matter, and then you're kind of like, what's the point? How do we keep, how do we keep hope, though? If, if, I, if I'm watching this right now, I want to, I, how do we as a people stay hopeful? How do we believe in the promise? that these quote-unquote forefathers have given us. Because, have you met black people? By, by, by <laughs> the frost. Like, hope is infused in our DNA. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, by the, like if, we been, if we haven't been broken now through, via, through slavery, through give capitalism, it to, give it to me. through give it to me. colonization, through segregation, <laughs> through, you know, I mean, listen, Black, the, the history of black people in this country is, at one point, we were three-fifths people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that, that was a written law. And look at us now. We are whole. We are black girl magic. We are black boy joy. We are, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? What, what, I, what I think about in terms of, of giving us hope, right? We're making a lot of people nervous right now, Carrie. We're oh, making girl. a lot of people Man. nervous right now because they're like, dang, we put all these obstacles in their way and these jokers are resilient. But that should give us hope. That should give us hope that, like, we can't stop, won't stop. I mean, I went to the school of Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag, bye bye, bye bye. Harlem shaking it right now. <laughs> we can't stop, won't stop. And, I, and I, I think that's our motto. We can't We won't stop marching. We can't stop thriving, and we won't stop thriving. To that end, because you led me directly there, um, I've been asking everyone who's appeared on this platform, what does 
activism look like? And I feel yeah. like back in the day, I had that. Yeah, I had the yes, happiest marching, dream yes, ever. Yes, it is protesting. Yes, it is speaking out against things and that people my are stupid not right or unjust. Yep. But talk to me about what <laughs> activism looks like for Ivan Orji. Listen, activism. I think the beauty of acti activism is that it has many faces, right? You you're gonna have the people on the front lines. Like you know what, Martin Luther King marched, but there were a lot of women who were in the homes. Like hey. BC does when they come back this is this is how we support all the people who are marching on the front lines and we're going to be here doing what we know to do best here and you know what somebody needs to bail them out of jail so that we need to now we need to be in the community you know getting money or whatever it is so it's like everybody has a position to play and so play your position like a shortstop right? so whoever you are and whatever My pockets go deep, so I will support the people on the front line. You know, I'm a comedian. Black, <laughs> black joy is a form of activism. There's always a call for entertainers or celebrities that have the platform to do something. Why aren't you speaking out? I'm not a believer <laughs> in thinking that it's mandatory. Like you said, everyone can be an activist and be activated in different ways. But talk to me about the connection. Uh, talk to me about the marginalization <laughs> in your world and how you feel like oh, it, it even inspires you to say more and use your platform to do more. Beneath the surface of what we do, like Nikki Nash says, it's the the who, right? The who is the person who's gonna be like, hey, let me call this let me call this out. Either blind racism in terms of overt racism, in terms of ways that we can be better, in terms of ways that we can actually be more uplifting to the community that we don't even you may not even realize that you're serving. Before I let you go, talk to me about the urgency in your opinion, for people to vote, our people to get out and vote this coming election? Yeah, I mean, guys, 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 if you, think, if you think you're tired now, I'm telling you right now, we cannot, we cannot take this sitting down, we can't take this joking. I understand that it may be hard to figure out who to vote for, but at the end of the day, we gotta vote for our family, we got to vote for our legacy. We got to vote for continued progress. We have to vote for yeah. upward mobility. We have to we have to vote for equality in a way that is long lasting. And if we succeeded before, we can do it again. We talk about the whole. This is this is the time. This is this is not the time to to give up. This is not the time to pretend a way that we haven't made progress we have there's still much more to be done and you know what we might have to get to a point where we pass over time to our children and our children's children but we still have work to do now for that generation Von orgy you are everything you are molly but you are not molly but i love you so much as molly on hbo's insecure <laughs> you are an amazing podcaster jesus and Jola. Shout out to Lovey. Um, and then we also have movies. Like you, the world, you're a, a model, a cover model. Also, wait, don't let me forget your hugely successful uh, st uh, stand-up comedy um, <laughs> special on HBO. Girl, you, I mean, you're doing it all. And I am so grateful. You are truly the dream, not just the American dream. You're the black girl, brown girl, do it all dream. The immigrant, immigrant dream, everything. You're a beautiful, beautiful song. I really, really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Yvonne Orji, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> nothing but the best and excellence personified. Thank you so much, my friend. I love you so much, mama. Mwah. That was the end, yay. Yeah, la la. So Atlanta Not has been one of the hotbeds in terms of political unrest and social injustice. We've seen so much happen in that city. God. We've also seen so much come from that city, including one of our very own founding fathers of the civil rights movement, and that's Martin Luther King Jr. But right now, we want to welcome in someone who has used this platform to talk about voting, to talk about racial injustice, and how he's trying to help. Atlanta's very own Russ joins us now on We The People. Russ, um, I'm not going to fan out and tell you what some of my favorite songs were that I love you to repeat on yours. We're going to get to the topic at hand. So Amazing. we got to talk about recently you did an interview where you shared your outlook on culture and music. And you also were very candid about the fact that um, you have a privilege and that it's necessary for you to give back. Tell everybody about what that means. As like, it's very obvious I'm white and I'm in black culture and I'm benefiting financially off of it. So I feel like if you're a white person financially benefiting off of black culture, 
you have to put finances back in the black culture. It's just that simple. The, the, you know, screenshots with your feelings, it just comes off like fake empathy because it's, it, it comes off very dismissive and very, um, oh, that sucks for y'all. But anyway, back to what I was doing. Have you felt that way always or is it now because of the time where we are in this country? I've always had the feeling. I think now uh, it's just obviously elevated. It's a new level and there's new, you know, it's it's to the point now where you can't, first of all, you can't not say anything. Second of all, though, I just think saying something isn't enough anymore. I think, you know, if you have the ability to uh, put money back into a culture that you're financially benefiting from, you have the ability to, you should. It's interesting that you talk about it in that way because some people do believe that silence is the best way to go because it's hard to talk race, especially if you're white. And you're black. That's so boring. police brutality against innocent black people i was like man i'm not the biggest artist in the world and i certainly don't have the most white fans in the world but i got a good amount of people that i can definitely mobilize and turn into some money and i know they're down for the cause because it's merch it's a good thing and i've always been outspoken anyways you know and so it, it, how am i going to be in black culture and not be outspoken about racism and then I, I gotta ask you this because you grew up in Atlanta so that that gives you a heads mm -hmm. up depending for so many people because you're in the crux of that of that beautiful black city where there are so many wonderful black leaders home of so much great music and things that speak to our culture right now um, and we are really really getting our word out especially with this platform today and saying mm -hmm. that we must use our voice to vote talk to me about what mm -hmm the importance of voting for you in this upcoming election? Yeah, so I, you know, full transparency, I had never voted before, ever. Um, and because, you know, I was one of those people who was like, my vote doesn't matter. And, you know, and, and, I, and I don't know, maybe it's because I was younger, maybe it's because I really thought that or I don't know. But I just think that it's it's got to, you know, now this is a bit of a, this is a bit of a privilege to say it's got to a breaking point for me, because obviously it's been past the breaking point for black people, but I think that as a whole young, you know, the young people need to get out and vote because we're the ones that never show up. <laughs> you know what I mean? We never show up to vote, but you know, we're the future. So it's like, look, we got to go out there and vote. And then whatever happens, happens, but at least we did our part. You know, you got to do your you know, part. You're very candid in saying that you just decided to vote. And I think there's a beautiful irony in the fact that you have your fans saying, because of you, I'm voting. 
uh, right. and there's something beautiful about that. But I want to know why now for you, why in this moment is it important for you to vote? And <laughs> what is your spirit to say, yes, this is the time to do it? Honestly, because the, I think that George Floyd really uh, <laughs> woke up a lot of people who, including myself, who I was, I was vocal and outspoken about racism. I put it in my lyrics. I put it on t-shirts. I would talk about it in interviews. Like, you know, I was vocal about it. But that video in that moment, I think me along with a lot of other people just kind of was like, all right. Like, words are simply not enough anymore. We got to do something, whether it's raising money, whether it's voting or all the above. Like, it's, we got to do something, you know? And, and, <laughs> and I'm, um, I'm ashamed that it took that for me to be like, I need to raise money and I need to vote, you know? It's a shame. And I don't know, it just... I guess it snapped a bunch of people out of it, you know, and even if you were vocal and, and whatnot, it's just, it's time to actually put your money where your mouth is. It's time to go vote. You know, it's time to just stop talking about it and be about it, you know, and it's been time for that. But like I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed that it took me this long to actually really, really be about it, but I'm, I'm here now. So Russ, we all know that this is going to be your first time voting. Tell me what that experience yeah. is going to be like for you in terms of what you're excited about. I think you know what it's going to do for me? It's going to let me know that I'm, I'm contributing to something bigger than myself and I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is and I'm being about it because, you know, for so long, and I know I'm not alone with this, but, you know, standing on the outside and just screaming about this and that and this should change and this. It's like, all right, but did you vote, <laughs> you know? And so I'm, you know, I know it's, it's going to feel good to know that I, I played a small role, you know, and that's the problem. I think that, I think the mentality of like, my vote doesn't matter needs to be changed to my vote, albeit small, does matter. It's a role I'm playing. And if I play my part and you play your part and he and she plays their part, then we make a difference. But uh, you know, it'll feel, I, I have a feeling it's gonna, it's gonna feel very, very bigger than me. I mean, I think when you, when you realize that giving, uh, actually feels better than receiving, that's when you start wanting to do your part and contribute. So voting is a, is, is an easy way to give, you know? Yeah. To whom much is given, much is required. And you have been given a huge platform and we are so grateful for the rest. Philanthropist, artist, community activist. First time voter, we appreciate you for yes. doing this, okay? Thank you, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> yeah, the luck. So cities like Atlanta and Chicago have been at the forefront of the discussions, especially around this country, when we're talking about COVID-19 and systemic racism, as well as police brutality and what we can do in this country. Uh, again, we're continuing our conversation, letting you know that your voice is your vote and your vote is your voice. We can change where we are in this country. Currently, I'd like to welcome in Chicago Cubs right fielder, Jason Hayward. I appreciate you. I brought in Atlanta and Chicago because I know you grew up in the metropolitan area of Atlanta, more specifically mm -hmm. McDonough, let's uh -huh. be technical. Um, and, and you have been very vocal throughout this entire time in terms of what our country has been experiencing. Let's, let's look at the past month and a half, if you will. What has been the hardest thing for you to deal with? The hardest thing for me oh, to yeah. deal with okay, this last uh, month has just been going from the virus okay. shutting everything down to us getting called to action. Okay. Um, you know, we've had you know, multiple police retirement situations. Uh, we've had people protesting, wanting to get the message out. But I really realized that I need to be a part of the positive message make sure that doesn't get lost and all the chaos going on for people to actually hear from a reasonable, <laughs> respectable person who cares about everyone involved. A reasonable, respectable person who cares about everyone involved, which leads us to more than a vote. Um, it is a beautiful collective of black athletes and, and artists. You are a part of that. Talk to me about why that's important for you right now on this be a part of that collective. To me personally, it's important to be a part of that because oh, I've 
know, somewhat use baseball in my craft as an excuse to not get more involved in voting. But I can't any longer use baseball and, and work as an excuse not to get educated and not also to show people like at any moment in time, any walk of life, we can make a difference. So tell me in your words, what does activism look like for you? In my words, it looks like LeBron James, the biggest athlete right now on the planet, speaking up and breaking the ice for everyone. And I think for the first time, people see and hear from us. So now we have white teammates, we have teammates, we have other people speaking up and realizing, okay, like this is how we go about doing it. And to me right now, social media, athletes speaking up, entertainers speaking up, like we're trying to do with more than a vote. You said something I thought was so key because covering sports for so long, I, I know that it's tough for black players specifically in Major League Baseball to talk about how they feel, um, Adam Jones did it in a very eloquent way early on, but there are very few that are vocal. You said you all were afraid. Why use that word and why were you afraid? You were afraid because in 2019, there were 68 of us total and there are 38 teams. There's 25 man roster on each team. There's a 40 man roster, which, which is on each team as well. And, you know, there are many of us. Um, you know, so we're, we're outnumbered in that sense, but not always in a negative way when it comes to our teammates and our clubhouses. But to get to this point, you have to move a certain way. You got to be careful what you say. You can't ruffle feathers. You can't come off in any way. You know, much like other black entertainers, much like you know yourself, you know, probably having to live through life every day. But to get to the highest level, you got to button up. You got to be seen and not heard. So baseball is, like I said, it was it was time for us to try and speak up and make a difference. And, and show it's okay to do so because we can't be quiet any longer. That is a button up, be quiet, be seen, but not heard. That is a um, an expression that a lot of black folks can relate to in whatever aspect of, of professionalism that they experience, especially if they don't work for themselves. They just feel that. That is also a socialization that we have as black folks, especially, like you said, if you want to get to the higher level. And for so long... I felt it bubbling right underneath the surface, surface that so many of us who were in whatever positions we were, who had platforms, were tired of pretending and looking the other way and spending so much time making others comfortable while we were uncomfortable. Do you feel that this is the type of movement that is sustainable or is it just for a time? No, it takes everyone joining in on the conversation. And, and right now, I feel like more than ever, there are as little things as possible to distract from bigger issues. And we saw on draft day, we saw our president, Bill Epstein, holding up the sign saying Black Lives Matter and, and, and wanting yeah, to include the rest yeah. of them being that. But now we're having those conversations as well. So I definitely think this is sustainable. And, and it's not always just going to be the popular thing to do. You know, this is something that people want to get right because they know we care. Jason, you said you think it's sustainable that what you're seeing, especially with your colleagues in baseball, that this can be something where you're feeling more comfortable, feeling more safe to share how you feel about social injustice and uh, police brutality. What are you doing right now in this moment with your platform to help change how we look at voting and how to educate the culture and the community about voting? Well, first, what I'm doing, Carrie, is joining up with More Than a Vote and joining up with other athletes and Hello? Players Hello. to get that message out and use our platform in that sense as a group um, and, and try to create you a crying this? something that's not no, just about not. the election to make sure that it's about people getting educated for years to come and, and figure out where to vote and how to vote. Um, what the heck is going on? Keep the lagging out the internet is bad. Areas of people and Bro, I can make a YouTube player, video. A baseball player. I feel like now, like we talked about, it's, it's finally the time Hello? to show people that you can use your voice in this profession. Hello? You don't have to be yeah, afraid. I'm going to jump down to the social media. You can help someone, help a kid growing up. He can see me. He can see other I'm guys. I'm making a YouTube video. video. To say, hey, this is what they're standing for. Like, already I'm starting. It's okay st to want to play baseball. I started, like, um, like, 20 minutes ago making a, a YouTube, YouTube video. I I was before. So I feel like that's my role in this. Um, I have a younger brother as well. He's 24. He also this is too boring. So I've got to lead by example. I can't just yeah. always, you know, come up with answers. Most people are just. When I can ask a question on it. Well, um, dude, I join, you I join, I join your party. I want to listen to you. I want to see you. So many people, I feel like in Atlanta, they're all. You didn't. Well, we my hobby. I did join your party. Do it by mail. Just it. Are you back to lobby? Yeah, bro. Let's get on half. Bro, 
I'm not gonna buy Robbie. Yeah. You have the banana skin, the new banana skin. <laughs> yeah, I got the banana. And I, I got the golden banana. I know. Um, let's play some creative. <laughs> that was so boring. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> 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 um, <Huh>? creative. <laughs> Wow, won't you want me? Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Hmm. <sighs> Just got off for you guys, but I guess I'll play a game. Bro, you're gonna say that I'm gonna um, that I'm using aimbot. <laughs> Have you ever said that to me? Have you ever said that to people? No. no. I I I I always want one wins and that's the only time I'm not losing is when I'm not like warmed up. When I warmed up, I just go sweating this for everybody. Cause I play box fights so much, I got box fight settings, so I can destroy every map in the game. Do not wear that skin. We're, we can only wear PD. Wow. <laughs> Why? Get your try hard. Get your gonna go try hard on Bob's EP. <laughs> Why don't. Bro, Pilly okay, makes fine, me fine, sweat fine. too. I sweat first with Pilly on. Wait a minute. What about. um? Do you have the hybrid? <laughs> no. 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 No, what? You wanna know something? I'm a whole tryhard. I got every, I got so many skins from a tryhard. See, look at this, I'm on the core of a tryhard. I got, I got sweaty I never show you guys this skin. And, um, and I have soccer skin on my other account. I have the soccer skin. Well, let me see, can I log in on my other account to show you I got the soccer skin on it. Yo, ready up, ready up, bro. I love the face game from this damn. <laughs> Can you ready up, please? I got the galaxy stuff. The galaxy scout? <laughs> then yeah, put it. I got the then put it on. wrap. Then I got the wrap only. I, only got, I said I only got the wrap. Only got the galaxy wrap. <laughs> I didn't get the skin, it only gave me the wrap. I wish I had that skin. Oh, you gotta go on a mobile. So high. You gotta be on mobile. Yeah, I done it on mobile. It didn't give me a skin for some reason. I think you gotta no, I, I don't need more think... sky on me. And, and then I came up first place huh? once. <laughs> then I came in first place once. And for some reason, it, it didn't kill me. The last time, I, the last game, I came first place. I let my, I fall. I played those, and then in the next game, I just got a victory by myself. No, you, 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 you gotta, you gotta win every single game. And the worst part about it, it was straight tryhards on that. Huh? <laughs> Mystery box. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, what's over here? What the frick? Oh, it's just galaxy. Come on. 
No, 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 do not go in the game, do not go in the game. <laughs> no, I'll just tell you it's a zombie map. We'll just put in the map. <laughs> just put in bill fights, 1v1s. No, put on back PP. Mm, yeah, you definitely want me to go try hard now. But we'll square your ass try hard. I, let's just play the game that you put. Let's just play the game that you put. No, let's play the box fight. You know, we're gonna play box fight. Let's play box fight. I do not like playing box fight, but I, but I can handle it. I wanna hear other. No, you gonna want, you gonna see? You gonna see me kill you. Just watch me kill you. I'm gonna eliminate you every time. <laughs> why are you why don't you start the game? In the game. I don't know in the game. In the game. In the game, please. Uh I could just edit that quicker in it. I just press my button one time. And it just done. It'd be done before that. Party girl, party girl. She just wanna have fun. Dude. I say you are my feet type. <laughs> girl. First, I want to hear Edith first. Oh my god, I'm not No. I'm gonna go on me. You see my edge. Just so see how good I am. I play on keyboard and mouse. Wait, you're on keyboard and mouse? Yeah. What are you on? PlayStation. You dead. What? How I hit you? Yet? Did I hit you right? Oh my god. Too good. Too good. Controller players. I hate controller players. Controller players. <laughs> Freaking controller. I gotta go sweat, okay? <laughs> Let me switch to my box PvP settings. Okay, I'm gonna I'm switch to my boss PvP settings. <laughs> switch my own. I wanna hear Edith. You don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm gonna switch my, to my boss PvP settings. Yeah, but for, and then I wanna hear your edit. Box PvP Bro, what are you doing? Why are you tearing my views down? I'm trying to switch to my settings. Quit, bro. Do that junk no more, bro. I'm trying to switch to my box TV settings. Quit. My God. Chill. Go over there. Okay, I'm just gonna be my own. Yeah, I'm switching my box TV settings there. Where'd it go? I'm gonna destroy you now. I got my box speed piece in now. I want to hear it. Come on, I will fight me, bro. I want to fight you. Oh, see him, boy. You see low. Him, boy. You was low. Hey, 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 you play with Chopper Boy? Time. No, I'm not playing with no Chopper Boy. I'm in the lobby with somebody else. This is Techie Tank? Who you playing with? Why are Chopper Boy in the party? Oh, see, uh, see, when he no, 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 can't join the party. party. Cause he can't join the party? Exactly, but come on now, keep me What's this way, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. If my anger problems come out, it's gonna be our problem, so chill out, bro. Like, mute me or something, bro. If you don't think it's be a problem, bro. Chill, bro. You better chill for my get five, get mad. So, mute me or do something, bro. That's oh, it, bro. I'm back now. See you,
So do you know where you be uh, kicking people? No, 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 no. I, I'm gonna just be telling you something. Do you know where you be kicking people? Do you know it don't kick yeah. you out, out of the game? It just kicks you from the voice. So, so like somebody like aggravating you, shoot is kicking from the voice. This is annoying me. Bro, this How guy is How uh, Choppa Boy died? What the hell? That ain't Choppa Boy, bro. This dude Chopper, is sweating. Bro. So <laughs> you, said they were, you said they were gonna clap me. You said they were gonna clap me. Yeah, I can. Oh, <laughs> well, right now you're clapping me. I turned my... I got away. I couldn't turn on my box VP said it because you kept shooting at me. I could have got you, bro. I got my settings on. I could have got you. Bro, chill. I finished switching my box VP said chill out, bro. But you just now saying it. Let's see, bro. My bad. My bad. Don't get mad. Chill, bro. I'm trying to have a good day. Bro, bro, I'm not ever playing a ball fight with spoilers. No, all oh, that sperm got this chill there. Yeah, he sprays a lot. But thank you, thank you for not spraying, all right, bro? I appreciate you, bro, for not spraying. Hey, bro, that's the only man who got who mm -hmm. for the spray. I just could, I could just connect the keyboard and mouse to my PS4. Keyboard oh, 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 yeah, but I just got a PC make... account, too. I signed in. Just got a PC account. <laughs> No, watch how I'm gonna play right now. Watch this. No, watch how I'm gonna play. I'm see, gonna see, play. See, 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 not see, 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 can I go on try hard? The screen pop. This nigga can't bro. Oh, I saw him. I'm gonna one v one him. I'm gonna one v one this dude. I'm gonna one v one. So he pop. Oh, oh, oh! I bought. I bought. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey! I told you, bro. I'm the best. From the base. Now, now, guess, now he ain't bad, or he ain't like, no, no. he's a high. Now, watch how I'm gonna play. He ain't bad, he ain't bad. He ain't bad. I'm gonna play worse than the keyboard and mouse play right now. That's it, but do you know, do you know why you playing creative? There's no point of you kicking people. You should just do them or something. It's not gonna kick up on the game. Okay, see, let me see what I start going for you. Let's go. Hand your business, sir, boy. But you really die. I killed both of them. <laughs> you want to kill me? <laughs> oh, it's so oh, oh, hey, terrible. Yeah, what's up, Zilla? Come on, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a for the you you better not. You Say, guess what? Today I got 1,000 V-Bucks. Thank you for the world. I got 1,000 V-Bucks. I got 1,050. You take it, take left the world, because he can't call anybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I didn't say I got 1,000 V-Bucks. I see my mama broke. I got 1,000 V-Bucks. 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 I got you, you, you shoot it at me, dude. You literally shoot at me. Talk. <laughs> I'm running. 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 I'm 
Game the take the L. If somebody do that, I'm gonna spank them with my belt. It's gonna get a whooping. I well, swear. Well, real time, you take the L. Well, 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 I can see people do the good for some reason. But, but I guess I came by sitting and they did that. What the fuck? Oh. See, I got to Why is that dude running? He's running and like, I'm running. I just thought that he just ran up the bill. Wow. Bro, he, 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 he don't hey. want to be a sweat, but he's not. Me, I he just laser him. I just laser him. Hey, it's a GG. 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 I got a lot of heals. <laughs> I got oh, 10,000 health to yeah. take against the storm. Oh, heck no. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. <gasps> I'm healing. GG. I, 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 I'll let you ring. No, no. Because I, I don't want you like, like to think like you so like. Now, I don't want to say it, but I'll let you ring. I'm glitching because I just jumped up. Do you know what? There's only three people. So like, like, so it really don't matter. Like, like if it was four people, that's a whole. I just, the only reason why I jump team is because I just like jumping team people. It's a three people that's okay, but it's four people that's not okay. GG. So GG Butterfly Scan, GG. Oh, uh, bro, I'm the best. I told you, shit, boy. I'm so good, but but GG about a fast game, GG. Shit, boy, if I'm you spread that AR, yep. if you freaking yep, come, sure. oh. bro, hold on, I might get him a front of Chris. Oh, but yeah, I don't care, I'll be a friend. Shit, boy, you better not, bro. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing. You can't see me, though. Can't see me, though. Can't see me, though. Yes, sir. How you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, that's okay. I'll let you win a little more. I'm done. I, I'm, I'm not the kid. Hold on, how you can't have a no real weapon? That's a shit. Okay. Bro, stop. Oh, Mr. Wolf, I'm laughing. Just stop laughing. Just stop laughing. Just stop laughing. Epic games, epic games. They help me. Epic games help nah, me. Nah, nah. <laughs> you was real for real, dog. There's no way nobody can see that. The guys, they help me. Yep, the guys just help me came out nowhere too old to me. Oh, you're gonna raise it. I'm sure, man. Oh, 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 so, Gigi, he threw his mini. I, I can't pick it up because he threw it. But, but Gigi, all right, I'll buy what you did on the SNA, Gigi. See, if I'm not dumb, you think I'm stupid. I am <laughs> <laughs> I ain't let you run it this time. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't let you heal it either. Come on. Come on. I'm healing. Oh, are you? Oh, you just hit me through behind the wall. 
No, I did. No, I did. Yes, you did. You just oh my god, dude. Oh yeah, y'all yeah, wanna see the goodest anime? I bet I can lazy, y'all. Oh, take that. I'll show you how to get lazy. Sight. I was just gonna stand there for a minute and see that you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Who out here going crazy with the AR? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Bro, that, that happened to trick my game. I mean, that movie was fun. He hiding at me. the bottom of his bed. He hiding at the bottom of his bed. I can literally see this man through the bills. He got purple. Like, come on now. Oh, that's crazy. 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 I got good energy. GG. I, don't tell me I won. Don't tell me I won. Oh, no way. How did I win and I just joined? Like, GG, GG, GG. GG, everybody. I say GG, everybody. Did you make that beat? I say, don't play with me. Why are you playing on Xbox? My. Oh, he has people on Xbox. Why is he dunking on PlayStation? Wait, who, 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 who are you talking to? And, and nobody lobby me playing on Xbox. They play on PS. I don't. I play on Xbox. Oh, hold on. Who's shooting at me? Shut up, Hey, 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 now I'm getting double team. Oh my god. That's how y'all kill me. Like, oh, fight each other. I'm getting double team. Like, so annoying. That'd be what I should. Oh, now I'm rushing you. Oh, so bad. <laughs> he got Amos's. He just hit me through the bill. Wow, Amos. Amos. He, bro. No way I got this nigga running, bro. Yeah, Jay high for me, bro. He's getting on the dish. That, that, that's not a toxic sin. I, I, I'm just saying. He 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 is what? That is true. No, I, okay, you got lucky. You're here, Kim, man. GG, but I would have finished. You knew you could have died. Cause I play on <laughs> Xbox. I, I, Xbox only got Amos. It's only PS4. I, I'm not lying. Go on YouTube looking up if you think I'm lying. Go on YouTube. Xbox don't got Amos. Yeah, you like Xbox. Oh my, but the dude right here, he, the guy who just joined the hub, he play on Xbox. Uh, he definitely does. I okay. know he, he, he really does. What's wrong with playing with Xbox? You like no, Xbox? No, 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 no. I'm not saying, but I used to play on Xbox. I, it's, it's nothing wrong with Xbox. It's not the wrong with PC, PS4, and they both pro. But guess what? Everybody brought and said PS4 better. But what's wrong with it? Bro, stop going for me first. Go for him. I'm not please, going for bro. you first, dog. Wait, no. What's wrong with that's me who you were shooting at? A chill. Chill. Ah. Oh, I'm going in the build fights map. He's going in the build fights map. Mm -hmm. I barely hit him for damage either. Mm -hmm. Like, that was just stupid. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm -hmm. I got max heals, so I have no problem. You can shoot all you want. I got max heals. Oh, he's so, he's shaking his boots. He's shaking his boots. <laughs> he's shaking his boots, bro. GG, I won. I got that. But, 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 but he's a bad person, bro. He, he's good. He's good to be on PS4. The kill y'all want. Oh, boy. Bro. He's trash. I don't shoot I don't got gun. Yeah, well, why are you going to slip? Can, can it be a 2v2, please? Can we do a 2v2? Bet, bet, who, 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 yeah. who, who, who I got? I don't care who I got, I'm the best. You I just kick, you just kick. I want to be on your team. 
Oh, oh okay. of course you pick me. Oh, of course you will pick me. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Me and you and my team, y'all can. Alright, wait. Nah, I'm getting a mini gun. I'm finna kill all y'all. Okay, you can't get me. Yeah, I'm on your team. I'm just gonna kill all them. Yeah, mama, so long. You got a gun. 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 You're not grappling, you are horrible! Like, get up and get- Hey, kick him, Sibyl. No, but he ain't playing fair. He ain't playing- Sibyl, that's me, Sibyl. Cause she- cause she not playing fair. He dropped her. Do all the cheating stuff. Bro, I'm gonna shoot y'all people! Shoot me one more time! And I'm gonna shoot you Got her! Let it go! 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 We got that ball! Ha ha ha! Yeah, God! Pose! He's on the other side! Yeah, I'm fighting. Who got a mini gun? Who else got one? See, but you shoot my. Oh, he got gun. power! He got power! Oh, he got, got a mini gun. Let's go! He got power! But Sam wouldn't make the best at me, bro. I ain't mad at the. I tried to fight Sam. He got! But Sam wouldn't make the best at me, bro. Do you know I'm the best at Portland? But who the best at Pierre? My like kill. Hey, shit, 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 that day, when that thing, when I'm gonna go first, first place. How do I get first place? What the heck? I'm first place. How do I get first place? Yeah, I, I'm in first place for some reason. I, but I, 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 I don't know. I thought I was second at first. At first, I was second. He got a comeback. Oh I swear to God, he got a comeback. He got a comeback. Combat player. Whoever has a combat, they suck. I killed him! Oh my mini gun! Suck. Mini gun! Mini gun power! How you shot niggas in the game? Yeah, eh? The mini gun. He got a. This nigga is so ass. Easy, I can shoot on the bills with the minigun, I'm good with it. He, he just tried to warn me with a minigun, I'm gonna tell him, don't never try to warn me with a minigun. What's up, what? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I tell him, never try to go for me with a minigun, and they ain't gonna beat me. Tell him, Chopper Boy, never go for me with so a minigun. He is so scared. Tell him, he got a minigun, he wanna fight me, yeah? He finna die to me. This nigga is so scared. I'm telling you, I won't beat him on me. I won't beat him on me. Since that sound will beat him on me. Nigga, stop! Yeah, what the fuck? I killed that boy. You killed me, Chopper boy. You killed me and I killed him. We both killed him, Look at his ass, baby. This nigga doing 80. They're not even 90, though. And I killed him. And that nigga had that combat on me. Nigga, stop! 